What's up guys, I'm Nick, and this is Build Dad Build. And this week, we're rolling with the homies. Name that movie. So if you've been following the channel, recently I got the rotary attachment for the Xtool D1 uh, and did a demo on that. Now, Ortura has also sent me out a uh, rotary attachment for the Ortura Laser Master 2 Pro. However, this rotary requires some assembly, so we're gonna put it together first, and then we get to working on it, kids. We get to working. So I got a box full of parts and some mediocre instructions. Let's do this. So I accidentally, uh, actually just wasn't paying attention. When I put this on, the stepper motor on, I put it on like this. And you want to be able to have access to this port. So we're going to turn it over here. Whoops, don't make the same mistake I made, kids. All right, crisis averted. We are back. Make sure that this is on the right side. This should be on the same side as did I do it backwards again? Son of a bitch! Okay, not yet. This needs to be on this side. Yay, isn't this fun, kids? Okay, third time's a charm. I actually, I poured myself a whiskey, so I have something to blame the next time I mess something up. Okay, I don't know exactly when I stopped recording because I started getting really frustrated with this thing, but uh, um, I'll kind of go over what happened because per my usual, it was my own damn fault. Really frustrated because this thing kept slipping. Whenever the uh, step down motor would turn, instead of turning these, you would see this spin and nothing else would. What I did not notice was there are these little screw holes. I don't even know if you can see that. Let me turn it up so you can maybe See that right there? There's little hex screws in there and you have to tighten those onto the rollers so they, so they roll correctly. And I don't know if it was just cause I was getting frustrated and wasn't paying attention or what, but I didn't see them. So I was getting frustrated and I just had to be over it. So we're back down here the next day and I went ahead and tightened those up off camera, uh, but I haven't tested it yet. So we're gonna test it again and see if uh, we can get this thing rocking and rolling, slipping and dipping if you will. We did, I believe, talk about installing the jumper. So you're gonna unplug this from the Y stepper and you're going to plug this jumper in that's gonna jump across and then go down to the actual unit. Now we're just gonna do that. Did that just pop off? All right, so in order to get this on here, you gotta kind of pull it over, bring this up, and then the key is to bring this down to where it gets taut, taut, baby. Or as I like to say in the business, toit. Um, and then you gotta hold this. I don't even know if you guys can still see what I'm doing on camera, can you? I don't know if you can see that. I, like, I don't know how well that's gonna translate, but I have my needle nosers on there hold, holding the, the nut underneath there to screw it in. Okay, now we're hoping this, see now it's too tight. See how I can tell? Like when I turn this, it's, it's not turning the belt. Well, let's turn the belt a little bit. So, we'll loosen this a little bit and then we're gonna tighten it back up. And hopefully that brought it up enough to where it's just really, here, let's see. I don't know if you can see that now. Hold on, hold please. 
So that's what it's supposed to do. So I guess we've got it just loose enough now to where it's trying to home and it obviously can't home because it's trying to home across the, the X axis, or I mean the Y axis. Okay, so we're gonna position this in here underneath our laser and gonna undo these guys a little bit, undo this guy, lift this up, put our focusing billet in here and it's, there we go. I think that's good. Might be a little off. All right, and then I wanna fire the laser because I wanna see, I want it to just, I wanna start in the middle of it, if at all possible. So fire. Okay, so, I don't know if you can see the little dot in there. Step it up a little bit so you can see it. There you go. Okay, so we want to position that kind of in the center and then we're going to run a frame. So let me turn that back down. But you should see, you should still see it frame. Okay. So here's the big issue. I don't know if this is going to be, I don't know if it's going to print up or down. I don't know if I have the rotary in there um, the right direction yet. So what do we do at Build That Build? Give it the beans. Um, let's see, we're doing this. Let's see, uh, image, like a 1200 speed, um, 13 power. Hopefully that should be enough. Let me actually stop that. We're gonna restart it over a little bit. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because that was gonna take two hours. And so I'm gonna uh, speed it up a little bit and see if we can, uh, see if we can get it done faster. So I'm gonna go 5,000 speed and like 75% power and see what that's gonna look like. Hey guys, while that's finishing up, I just want to say thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you have a question, comment, leave it down below. A bonus thanks goes out to all my patrons. These guys are the ones that keep the lights on the shop, especially my Boilermaker patrons, Steven Mann, Eric Weiss, Chuck Faulkner, Derek Coates, Puffy Muffins, Zach Z, Jim Carter, and Andy the Viking. I actually... Clinkies! Did I just throw? I think I just threw booze. Okay, let's grab it off. I'm kind of curious. It looks pretty good. Um, I was a little concerned because I have this kind of propped up on two by fours and I noticed the, the laser was kind of moving a little bit when it was going back and forth. But I, I really don't see too much problem with it. So it skipped a little bit on one side, but Honestly, it doesn't have anything to do with the rotary. It has to do with the way I have, the way I have it set up. So that's always gonna look a little dark and kind of not great. All you need to do, a little water, magic eraser or melamine sponge. And something to dry it with, my dear. And there you go. We probably could have turned the power down a little bit and gotten those lines to be a little better, but pretty clean lines aside from this one spot right over here where the, I'm sure the, um, the laser shifted. I mean, seriously, look at this thing. I got it propped up on these two by fours here. So as the thing's going back and forth, it's just doing this. So, I mean, obviously I would need something a little bit more substantial to hold it up, but um, all in all, works pretty good. I dig it. And until next time, here, let me set you down. People complain about me holding the camera. And until next time, thanks for playing. And now I gotta get to work. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>